Good morning, my YouTube family. This is my third move this year, and along with all the new change comes a new morning routine. Honestly, I still haven't found a comfortable morning routine here, yet I'm working on it, so I figured why not show you. In California, we were up at 5 a.m. Miami, it was 6. Now in Puerto Rico, it's 7 a.m. We don't wake up as early because we work on Pacific time, so we work a little bit later and sleep in. Personally, I am loving this. We make our bed, we get lots of hugs as you can see. It is my favorite time of the day is our morning routine. I just feel rejuvenated after a great night's sleep. I also get my cuddles with the boys and just kind of get organized for the day. I take a shower, I brush my teeth, I brush my hair, then I put on my sunscreen, my moisturizer, all that good stuff, my daily skincare routine, okay? It's not much, but she's there. And then I put on contacts, cause yes, I cannot see properly. One of my favorite things about the morning is picking out my outfits. Anyone else like this? It's not to like match, it's like what can make me feel the comfiest? So I personally am deciding to wear the Gymshark Flex shorts along with the What The Flex sports bra because I slept in it mostly. Next up I throw over a baggy sweatshirt, my personal favorite, and then Michael tackles me for another cuddle, okay? Then we are making our coffee. Lately we've been actually making our coffee and heading out the door with Bentley. We try to make sure that he gets as many walks as possible throughout the day, even though we have a backyard. I just think it's good because he has a lot of energy because he's a tiny little husky, okay? Lately, we have been taking our golf cart around the community and then picking a spot and taking Bentley for a nice long walk. And it's just to get acclimated and kind of used to this neighborhood. I honestly get lost all the time. So for me, I get to see new houses. I get to kind of get familiar with the area. So today we picked around a pond. Next up, I'm doing my laundry. Honestly, this morning, I like to do the dishes. I like getting my laundry done just so I can get it out of the way and have the rest of the day for work. In the past, I used to work first thing in the morning, especially in Miami, but lately in the island, I haven't been doing that. I've just been enjoying my time in the morning. Next up, I'm getting ready because I'm filming a YouTube video, all right? It was the Gymshark Black Friday haul, and I rarely curl my hair, but I really wanted to. I've been digging this new hair color. Spritz her on up, and then we record the entire video. And then we jump into breakfast. Honestly, we aren't as strict with our intermittent fasting here. We haven't been, when you've been doing it as long as we have, you kind of get a little bit lazy and that's okay because change is a good thing. So I think it's around 10 or 11 that I started making breakfast. I was making us scrambled eggs, threw a little bit of butter in it because Gordon Ramsay does and it makes it nice and fluffy. Living on this island, it's so peaceful. It's so quiet compared to Miami. Plus being four hours ahead of Pacific time just really makes me feel like I can take time in my mornings and enjoy it before everything gets hectic. Previously, I would go straight into work like I said, or I would do meditation, but you know, here's a gentle reminder, it's okay to change a routine. I'm sure I will go through a phase again and add these back into my life, but for now, I'm focusing on my relationship in the morning and I'm focusing on my mental health first and foremost, and this is what makes me feel good. Good morning. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, how are we? I was just finishing filming a Gymshark Black Friday discount staple video that I'm sure is up right now. I wanna show you my updated morning routine and like what the heck we're doing at the moment because you guys know we just moved so we don't have like a full routine yet. So I figured I'd show you like what ours looks like and then also how to build your own routine if you move somewhere new, maybe like you're visiting somewhere for like a month or so, whatever it is, I'm here to help you, okay? So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And let's get started. Side note. I started looking for an editor for Vlogmas and I'm extremely excited. We love Vlogmas, so 
go check out my vlogmas playlist because it's so freaking fun and it's just like holiday filled and i love it let me know what you want to see on vlogmas happy to film that but i wanted to show you like this morning, Michael and I woke up a little bit later. We are like four hours ahead of Pacific time. So we definitely don't wake up at 5 a.m. as much anymore just because nobody's awake. What are we gonna do? Just because Michael works a lot with Pacific time, so it just wouldn't really make sense. We'd be up at like 1 a.m. Pacific time if we got up at five. Who knows, maybe it'll change, but for now, we're sleeping in a little bit more, okay? Okay, I'm not gonna complain. Just Michael interrupting me, interrupting me. It's 9.44, booyah, already, already done with it. So I'm gonna edit the YouTube video, maybe make myself another cup of coffee. And then also I am meeting some gals. Uh, my friend Courtney has a couple friends. She's like, I want you to meet. And I'm like, absolutely. I don't know anybody on this island. So we're gonna go hang out with them and go for a nice little walk, I think, around 11. Hello, good morning. Guys, our stuff is here. Does this ring a bell? Oh. <laughs> Our plant is here, literally, it is a whole mess. Um, and also, I recorded that morning routine last week, and maybe it was a week and a half ago. I have no idea. I'm sorry, it's so chaotic. I feel like my life has been chaotic lately, on the account of we've just been moving. Um, but I'm excited to kind of just like settle down. We think we're gonna stay here for a couple years. So hopefully that means no moving, okay? Also, I'm going to dye this. I think I'm gonna make a vlog of it because I have the dye and she's just real, real light today. Um, I did, before I wrapped up this vlog, we want to kind of talk about how we establish a morning routine. That is like one of the biggest things we try to kind of like conquer head on first because without a morning routine, I will have a chaotic day. Like it has to be like the root. It has to be the principle of my day, otherwise, She's a mess, okay? And you can see, I've been a mess. I, I know it, I'm, I'm well aware. But if you're like me and you move a lot or maybe you like you just do vacation, whatever it is, maybe you just wanna switch up your morning routine and that is a-okay. It is like, first things first is set your alarm and figure out what time you want. I don't know about you, like I'm no morning routine professional, but like I cannot stand sleeping in past my alarm. Then I just feel, like I failed the day almost and that's just on me, okay? That's my own personal opinion. And that is something I am always like, okay, what time do I wanna wake up? So lately we've been like, we're gonna be up and out of bed by like seven. So maybe I set my alarm for like 6.45, 6.30. Um, that's like our big goal right now is just getting established and like, hey, let's be out the door, taking Bentley for a walk by 7.30, 7.15, whatever it may be. Uh, another thing is like find joy in your morning no matter where you're at. I just think it is so important to do something for yourself first thing, like without your phone. Notice I didn't mention my phone in this video because I put her away. I'm like, no, no, like I will visit you later. Like maybe I'll record a sunrise photo. I don't know, I haven't seen the sunrise here yet. But like, I don't really go on social media, needless to say. Um, so find something that you enjoy, whether it's like going and getting coffee, making coffee, having water, I have no idea. If, if you eat first thing, maybe it's that, like if you have an animal, like whatever it may be, find that joy and then like stick to it or even like say you have five things that you love. Like Michael and I love going on these different walks or we love like having coffee in the backyard. Like we just kind of switch them up subtly. Um, and then also make sure your day is planned out. If you notice like, I already was like, all right, I'm gonna pound out this YouTube video. Like I knew what my day was doing. And a lot of the times I should record my nighttime routine because before I go to bed, in my, you should see my notes. It's just cluster of like what to do that day. And I'll literally write like even simple things like go to the grocery store, text this person, whatever it may be, just so I don't forget. And I kind of have like a checklist and then I literally like use the check mark emoji. And it is so helpful for that day. Cause you're like, all right, I already know what I'm doing. And if you do meditation, that is amazing. Michael and I love meditation. We have been so incredibly lazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna fake film that I'm meditating right now because I'm not, all right? We show transparency and honesty on this channel. Um, so honestly, we have just been going for walks and like checking in with each other and just making sure that Bentley gets the appropriate amount of exercise throughout the day. I've made some friends at a coffee shop that I always go and say hi to them. Today I walked Bentley and it was just like lovely. Listen to some Taylor Swift. It, it was wonderful, but 
feel like those are the three staples for me when I'm making a morning routine is set your alarm and stick to it. Um, number two is like find the little joys and also stick to them. Like don't wake up late and then not have time for that. Like trust me, you'll set yourself up for success and like the day will just not feel as chaotic from personal experience at least. And then lastly is before you go to bed or even first thing in the morning if you forgot to do it is write out your list that you have to do today. Um, that way you can kind of like take off the box. Even if you have a nine to five job, write what to do before your nine to five or after your nine to five or even at your nine, nine to five. How many times can Savannah say one nine to five? I have no idea. but. I just find it so helpful. I'm not a very organized person in general. So for me to have it, at least on my phone, it really helps. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog though. I hope you liked it. Please let me know if you did. Um, I love like just kind of chatting with you guys and like just being honest and having conversation about a simple thing that makes you so happy like a morning routine. Um, so with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you next time.